It is perhaps the first detailed official response where hundreds of crores have been spent on military aid. 600 crore was released by the center in advance for assistance. Now, additional funds would be released from NDRF upon the assessment of damages. Um, normal rules and procedure have been set aside, which means they will ensure, depending on the assessment, that how much food, money, medicine needs to be put in, and that all will be done regardless of what the normal procedure under these circumstances are. So really, the center also going out of uh, their way to ensure that things are done properly to help rebuild Kerala. My colleague Sam Daniel has been relentlessly reporting from the ground. Let me go across to Sam. Sam is in Thrissur right now. Good morning, Sam. Sam, bring us the latest from Kerala now. Really the focus moving into rehabilitation and while there is a controversy over whether and whether we will not accept aid from foreign countries, the state government and the center are really coming together to ensure that the state and its people are brought back on track. Good morning, Snigda. That's right. As we speak now, still more than 10 lakh people across Kerala continue to be at relief camps across the state because their houses are either flooded still or they are fully collapsed or partially collapsed, unable to get back homes in their cases. And the government says uh, they are providing 4 lakh each for those who lost their houses completely. And they would also foot the repair cost in the case of those whose houses were damaged. There is no information yet on what is the maximum limit in terms of repair. But ordinary people like that say this won't be enough because uh, a driver, for instance, we met, he lost his house and he may require at least 8 lakh rupees to rebuild his house and the government's 4 lakh alone will not be enough and uh, they say the government should find its way to help them with funds and it's in this context the government's the interest-free loans could come to them as a great boon. And the worry also, Snigda, among those who are in relief camps, how long they can be there because from the 30th of this month, the schools will reopen and it's mostly schools and colleges which serve as the relief centers at the moment. And government sources say after 30th, whoever would want to continue at relief camps, they may be moved to other shelters which may not be schools or colleges and they, sources say, can continue to be there till uh, their houses are ready. So for people who don't, who can't afford to rent a place or who don't have any of the family members or friends with whom they can stay, this could be one option. And the Kerala government continues to push the case of granting the state exemption so that it could accept foreign contribution to begin with the aid that's coming from UAE, the 700 crore rupees uh, grant. 